What is going on everyone? My name is Erin and welcome to this uh, very quick tutorial on how to connect via SSH to a local machine. Now for this tutorial we'll, we're going to be using uh, Linux Ubuntu and uh, it, it's going to be the same for any other distribution like Mint, Arch Linux, SUSE, Fedora or Debian uh, or whatever is pronounced. So if you just if you want to check if you already have the SSH installed uh, just pre type SSH into terminal and by the way if you need to open the terminal and if you don't know how to open it just press Control alt and t or search uh, or search it as terminal and it will pop up somewhere so the first thing if you don't have this one it will not show up what i have right now at the moment so all you need to do is just type sudo install apt minus get first and ssh now it should already prompt you for a password now let me open this one one more time so yeah sudo apt minus get install ssh now it will prompt you for the root password uh, whatever you guys created for this password it won't show up just type it out over there and it will install it I already have it so I don't need to install it so let's get back to this one now uh, for this one you would need the user on the remote machine and the host name the host name might be a D DNS name or you might also have uh just the ip address of it but if you guys want to create your own remote server you can just uh i suggest you to use no ip and they they have a free service for three host names and you can create your own host name there and just run the program it will refresh automatically if the ip changes it's a really good one so yeah let's get back to the business SSH and you should enter your uh, name username let me enter mine now now after your username you should add enter the at and uh, you need to enter the name of the server which is gonna be Dijkstra dot ug.bcc.bilkent.edu.tr this is going to be the Bilkent server for Dijkstra you might have another server or whatever just press enter it will prompt for the password just enter the password and hope I type this one correctly mm -hmm. and boom there you go have a lot of fun now I'm on the other machine right now so if you guys uh, like you don't know your password or you just want to change your password all you need to do is press right P S P A double S, -S W D and that stands for password and uh, you should enter the old password you have dun, 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 dun. Boom. And now let's enter the new password. And apparently it is too simplistic, so let's enter another password. Which is gonna be harder. And it's accepted. So you guys want to make sure it's not too simplistic. You need to have uppercase, lowercase, and some special characters. And you also don't uh, shouldn't have it the same as your username and not something similar because Linux is smart the guys who made it are smart and they know what password you're gonna use if it is very simple so they won't let you use it so now the password has changed successfully and you can move on to the other things now let's clear this up once you're in the server you can also do other stuff like ls it will show up the directories you have at the moment 
and if you want to change a directory just type cd and the name of the directory you want to go and that's it i guess if you want to exit you may type exit or you can type log out it should be the same thing the connection is now closed to the server and we're back to our machine so that's it for this tutorial uh, stick around for another tutorial maybe I'll show you something more advanced and thank you very much leave a like if you like this video subscribe for more videos and